Welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. Uh, this video, um, I will address a question that I got on how to replace the default character with, uh, for example, a Maximo character. And uh, let's assume that you have a Fuse um, character created already. Uh, I have my Fuse icon on my desktop, and if you don't know how to get it, uh, start up Steam and search for Fuse. And then you will uh, have this application where you can create your character in. and uh, I won't really go into details about this uh, but let's just pick one of the, the characters that I played around with uh, this one is called Action Girl very original name I know and um, what you do here is just to uh, click on this button up here and then you will get this uh, dialog saying uh, where to export to uh, and login and then you will eventually have your character inside uh, Mixamo so uh, when you get to Mixamo um, you will have your character inside the, your assets so um, let's see um, characters there's a tab called characters um, and I need to log in you see I got logged out so um, let's log in. All right. So now I am logged in, and um, let's see. Um, my character um, get away can be found here uh, under characters. My assets again. There we go. There she is, the action girl. So you just click her and um, Q download and you choose FBX for Unreal select CPOS for example and Q download once you have the, that downloaded I won't do this because it's uh, 20 megabytes so I'm just gonna skip this you're gonna uh, start up um, Unreal Engine and let's do that um, so I'm just launching this for some reason always start it starting on the other screen um, so uh, let's bring it over here and start a new uh, well the easiest way to, to get something uh, running is to use this third person and um, I've been using startup content because it's it's give, it gives you something to play around with so if you are completely new to this just uh, pick this one and click create project So here we have our scene with the default character and here you can uh, choose to import so um, in my uh, instance I put my character in a folder called uh, characters action girl and I called the folder unreal because I have been uh, creating different versions of this one so uh, I put this one in uh, the unreal folder and um, don't worry about these two they uh, I think I just need to delete them. These are not needed or, and, and won't be um, included when you unpack your zip file from uh, Fuse. So just uh, click the FBX and open. And uh, once it's done thinking about this, it's gonna, it may take a little while depending on your machine and configuration and stuff. Um, and we will have some choices to make. Um, Come on. Very interesting. It usually doesn't take that long. So um, maybe it's something with my computer. Okay, there we go. So, uh, leave this one as none, import a skeleton, import mesh, and um, import materials and textures. I think that's the important ones. Maybe we just could import. I just gotta fill out this. F um, I just chose to import everything inside my um, third person blueprint folder. But um, 
you may want to choose a separate folder for this because you're going to get a lot of textures from uh, the Mixamo um, the Mixamo character in here so you want to organize this eventually but um, let's talk about it in the end if I remember okay this is also taking a, a while the, the reason why this may take a little while is that um, the, the characters uh, consist of lots of small bits and pieces uh, like going all the way down to the eyelashes and all that stuff uh, so in, in I think in FBX and normal FBX uh, all of these uh, bits and pieces are separate meshes so what Unreal does is to merge this into one uh, single skeletal mesh um, and that's obviously going to take a little while so now we see that it's done and you can ignore all this this is something to do with the, the skeleton that the Mixamo creates and it's not 100% compatible but it doesn't really matter uh, anything so uh, you can just ignore this for now okay so all this stuff that you got here um, the most important thing is actually the skeleton uh, up here the skeletal mesh and uh, this is the skeleton and this is as a, actually the physics asset this one we don't really need so if you don't uh, this is if you want to do ragdoll stuff uh, so you don't really need this one so anyway we have this um, this default character and the question was how do we replace that one with a, a character from a Mixamo um, so um, inside this this is a, uh, just a standard uh, third person character um, example so uh, let's see we have this um, folder structure here so we dumped everything inside the third person blueprint folder uh, and now I kind of regret that I did that <laughs> anyway um, th this is why I put it so inside this folder we have the blueprint and this is the blueprint character um, uh, blueprint for the character so pops up on the other screen um, so double click this one you get to get this picture and here we have the the mesh that uh, has this um, right now this SK mannequin and that's the one we want to replace um, so if you want to select now the action girl in my uh, situation here and I have an anim blueprint generated class I that switched to none when I chose this one so I want to switch that back to the third person anim blueprint so I'm just gonna click compile and save and that's gonna bring her in so now uh, we replaced her inside but as you can see she's in t-pose so she doesn't have any animation right now um, so actually what you also need to do to get this working um, is to go into the mannequin uh, and the character mesh um, no not mesh animations sorry and you have the third person animation blueprint and this has all these animations uh, built in it and has the blueprint for all this stuff so you can right click this one and retarget um, let me see but we need something else to make this work because we can't choose anything here we can't decide which uh, characters to choose uh, to retarget to so we actually need to do a little thing more um, now the mesh the skeleton mannequin for the, this one is in a kind of an a pose so we need to fix that so we make to need to make these two skeletons uh, compatible and we do that using the retarget manager so click into retarget manager and add a new retarget source like this and uh, select humanoid rig and then you click the view pose so you get these lines up here and um, I kind of like to switch to the skeleton tree so I can then pick everything uh, by name here so I want to choose the upper arm and I want to rotate this one um, let's change this one to five degrees so I want to change this up to um, 45 degrees and I want to do this the same with the right arm and I know that uh, Mixamo uh, puts them in a 
pose where the legs are a little bit closer so I want to also adjust the thighs five degrees in and if we move above like this a little bit then we can see the arms are also a little bit bent so straighten them out 25 degrees and 25 degrees so click save and close and uh, that's uh, mannequin um, this um, this guy here so let's save now I'm actually not sure I did I think I forgot to save my pose <laughs> great um, so this we need to do it again uh, sorry about that I need to click save pose I forget that sometimes uh, so you do <laughs> like me and wonder why why did my changes go um that's <laughs> what probably what happened it happened to me quite a lot of times so um let's do this again uh upper arm dangling it's not a terribly difficult task to uh, just do it quickly just adjust and uh just and this so back to the retarget manual and this time we remember to click save pose so now you will see that he pops back into the a pose it doesn't really matter because if you click view pose you can see he has the right pose so this what he is in this um, pose is actually what matters so click back again and go into the, the animation blueprint that you just uh, this uh, action girl um, character from uh, Mixamo that you downloaded and double click it, switch to skeleton and kind of do the same uh, but this time we just want to choose the humanoid rig uh, here and just click save pose because she is already in that pose so I'm what we did before was actually just to match her up to this pose here so click save and now we can return to the animations for the mannequin and say okay I want to retarget this now so now we can select her here and see that the, the pose is the same pose here so we click select and it's gonna make a copy of all of these uh, assets that it's using and put it inside um, uh, okay and now it gets kind of a, a mess as you see because now we have all these in the same folder so that's why I want to clean this up and put them into separate folders but um, you'll figure that out yourself. So the last thing we need to do in order to get this to work is to get, go to the, the character blueprint, um, which will be inside the blueprints, and instead click the mesh. And instead of having the third person uh, animation blueprint, you want to use the, um, the one that uh, Unreal Engine called the copy, which is uh, the one with the action girl. And now you can see that she is in the right um, pose here so now you can click play and uh, you have your character running around um, using the animations from the third person character blueprint so uh, that's a, a quick and dirty um, fast way to do it Whoop. and um, you may want to take a look at also just as a last few uh, things to mention if you take a look at the arms, you can see they are all curled up and looks terrible. Um, one thing you also want to do, uh, let me just quickly mention that before I uh, uh, end this video. Um, you want to go into uh, uh, the character from a Mixamo and click skeleton. And then you want to go to the skeleton tree and show advanced options and then you want to right click the top the root and select recursively set to uh, retargeting targeting skeleton like this okay so that's going to change all of these to use the skeleton and then the pelvis and the root is going to use uh, i think it's either animation or animation scale i can't really remember but let's try these ones so you just want to uh, normal click and select, select animation scale for these two and click save so um let's see i don't think that made any difference actually that's weird um or maybe it did the arms look straight now uh, they don't look straight here though 
Okay, great. Um, yeah, they are straight. I don't know what why it doesn't show in the in the preview. Okay, it looks uh, better now. She's not all curled up. We will also see things going on with her legs and her feet. So anyway, um, that's a very the quick version. Uh, I hope you can use this and uh, bye for now.